Hello world, hello USA. I'm Pastor Scott from Lighthouse Church and Lighthouse Ministries, located in beautiful Southern California. Welcome to our broadcast. You know, God gives us all vision in our lives and it's important to write down the vision that God gives you and make it plain on paper that you can see it and follow after it. The Bible says without vision, the people perish. God's vision is for an appointed time. God's calendar is not always our calendar. When the fullness of time had come, Jesus was born and God literally became a man. Joseph in the Bible was a dreamer. We all know the story of Joseph and a man of vision. He had a coat of many colors, which signified the promise that was given to him by God for his destiny of purpose and greatness. Hallelujah. Habakkuk was given a vision of the future and he was told to write it down on tablets that he, he may run who reads it. He was told the vision is for an appointed time, but it will certainly come to pass. Read it and know it. Though it tarries, it will surely come to fruition. He also wrote the just shall live by faith. Praise God. Vision and faith are synonymous, are nearly the same. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And that's how vision works. Now I want to give you three truths about vision. Number two, excuse me, number one, we too have to wait for our vision, but it surely will come to pass if it's from the Lord birthed in our hearts. Sometimes there's a vision and then a death to a vision and then a rebirth to the vision. Vision is being able to see into the invisible realm, number two, and have an understanding and awareness of your future and destiny. God speaks to us through vision. He doesn't mumble, but he speaks with clarity and forthrightness. Vision is connected with prophecy and the prophetic word and the foretelling of the future. When we receive vision from God, we know because we know the things the Lord has promised will come certainly to pass in our lives. So vision is divine revelation. As a pastor, I told my congregation for years, I would preach to thousands. We are now doing this over the internet, reaching millions of people. But I also feel we will preach to thousands in one location at one church in Southern California. I've had many prophetic words given to me and my wife in the past, and most are on audio tape so we can go back and listen to them. We do this to keep the vision strong and clear in our hearts and minds. Paul told Timothy, use the prophetic words given to him to fight the good fight of faith. The enemy uses doubt and fear to try and to intimidate us and to defeat us. But our prophetic vision gives us the victory over the enemy of our faith. Praise God, we have the victory. Number three, we need to cast the vision just as you cast your line out with a fishing rod on a lake. We cast our vision by speaking forth what God has revealed to us, even if it seems impossible. Praise God. Hey, don't let anyone steal your vision, your dreams, your destiny, and your calling. It will carry you through the hard and dry times of life where it looks as though your dreams will never come to pass. Keep casting the vision, even though you'll have to wait for it, but it will certainly come to pass and it will not tarry. Keep on dreaming the dreams of God. We'll see you this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for our live broadcast. Blessings to you.